Hello, Robert Lanty from the Vocalist Studio, author and producer of the Four Pillars of Singing, a home study vocal technique training program that teaches students and singers that are prepared to practice and train how to train effectively to become strong and better singers. Now, um, I have some quick advice for you guys. I'm here in Salzburg, Austria, birthplace of Mozart, and just felt inspired by the scenic beauty and the moment. Listen, I'm oversimplifying to be sure, but this is for you guys out there that are maybe a little frustrated with not getting the results that you want from singing or from training or Perhaps you have some results, you feel like you've grown as a singer, but you still can't sing in the head voice. You can't get to the higher notes without it sounding like a choking duck or it sounding weak like Mickey Mouse or any, any number of problems that we all might have when we're trying to sing high notes. Look, three things. Three things that I want you to remember. One, you have to understand the acoustics of singing. You have to understand singing vowels. Now, when I say singing vowels, I'm not talking about language vowels. Jack and Jill went up the hill. We're not talking about the kind of vowels that we see in a written language. Okay? You got to get that idea out of your mind. Otherwise, you'll never understand the vowels and the acoustics of singing. When we say singing vowels, we mean sound colors, all right? These are singing vowels. A, A, O, A, 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 A. Those are sound colors. Sometimes we refer to them as singing vowels, okay? Or formants, all right? Now, I don't have time in this video to explain how singing vowels, formants, and resonance actually work to help you to become a better singer. How understanding that and learning how to feel it through kinesthetics helps you to become a better singer. I don't want to do that in this video right now because my arm's getting tired. All right, but let me tell you, in my vocal technique training program, The Four Pillars of Singing, there are lessons with quizzes and video lectures and demonstrations of me and students explaining and teaching you how to understand singing vowels and the resonance and acoustics of singing. But back to my point, the acoustics of singing, understanding it and learning how to feel resonance moving in your upper vocal track is absolutely critical to becoming a great singer. You will not become a great singer with flexibility and be able to do whatever you want to do as an artist if you don't understand singing vowels. And you don't, through kinesthetics, feel, learn to feel resonance shifting in your upper, in your upper vocal track. All right? So find a program that teaches you that. Two, you have to have strong physiology. In particular, you have to have a strong TA muscle, the thyroaretinoid muscle and strong belting musculature. That's not the only muscle involved, but it's probably the most important. So one we talk a lot about, when we talk about belting or taking your chest voice high. If you want stability, if you want to be able to stop the vocal breaking, stop the squirreling, the chirping in your voice, if you want to get up to G4, A4, B4, C5, and sound full and chesty with confidence and stability. Not, not something where you're just barely hanging on and your voice is breaking. Not that experience, but an experience where you own it, all right? And you can play with it and be creative and express yourself. You have to train the musculature inside the voice. This is high-tech, advanced stuff that we're talking about here, being able to sing above the vocal break, all right? And the and in addition to the acoustics I already mentioned, you also have to build belt strength, build the musculature and the belt strength, okay? If you don't have the physical strength to anchor and give you support, then no amount of understanding of the acoustics are ever gonna do you any good, 
right? So you got to understand the acoustics of singing, and you have to understand the physiology of singing, and build through training and practice, build that strength. The third thing is you have to have a program. You have to have content, training skills, workouts, video demonstrations, lectures, a book, things that teach you not only what to do and how to do it, but also why, why you're doing it, all right? You have to have a program. You have to have content. You have to have a good teaching tool and a good teacher to show you how to learn and feel the acoustics and how to train the strength of your physiology for singing. Those are the three things you need. I'm telling you, this is one of the best, most simplified videos you'll ever see on YouTube. All right? Understand the acoustics of singing. Really understand it and feel it through practice, kinesthetics. Two, get the right training program and techniques that will, that will show you how to train to build the strength of the belt musculature so you have physical stability. And, th and three, have commitment. You got, you, you, you got to commit. You got to practice. If you're not willing to commit, you're not willing to practice, then just forget it. And, and I'll tell you right here, right now, the vocalist studio and the four pillars of singing is not for everybody. That's for sure. That's one thing I've learned by being on YouTube for so many years. It's not for everybody. It's for people that understand that you have to train and you have to work. It's for musicians that are ready to do the, do the work and do the commitment. Okay? So, those of you that really do want lasting results and really do want to become better singers and are not afraid to practice and do the work, contact me and I'd be happy to answer any more questions you may have or check out my program, The Four Pillars of Singing. Now with that, my arm's getting tired and I'm on vacation. I need to get out of here, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity to just say hi to you guys and give you some great advice.